In a web I document, conditional formatting is used to highlight some specific values in the report. Conditional formatting shows specific low or high values using some colors. You can use conditional formatting to make changes in text color, size and style, cell border, cell back backgrounds, etc. You can add up to 30 conditional formatting formulas in a web I document. Let us go to SAP BIO system and see how to create conditional formatting rules. Let's see how we can do conditional formatting in Webby. So conditional formatting is used to highlight some specific values in the report. I have created one Webby report where I have year, quarter, month and the sales revenue. So the conditional formatting is to highlight the data based on certain values. So if we want we can show the specific low or high values with some specific colors. In that case, we can use the conditional formatting. So let's say if I want to highlight the data in the sales revenue column based on its value. So what I will do here is I will go and I can create a conditional rule. So let's say if I want that all the values which are above uh, above this value so all those values should come in green in that case I can go to the analysis I can go to the conditional and I can create a new rule here I'll go here and I'll click on this new rule I can give the name of the rule as per the requirement so let's say if I give it the name as demo underscore rule After that, we have to select based on which object I want to create this rule. So, I have the sales revenue already selected because I have selected this column. And then we have to give operator. So, I want that all the values which are greater than this value, which is 525904. I want that this values they should appear in green. I'll go here and I will change it to the green. I will click on OK and then I'll click on OK here. So now I can see that all the values which were above that value, above that threshold value, they are showing in the green. So similarly, I can change the formatting. Let's say if I go here and if I want to do any changes to that rule, I will go to the formatting rules. I have this manage rules option here. I will go to the manage rules. I will select the rule and I will click on edit. Here now if I want that I want to show all the values which are less than this value in red. I will go here. I can set up the different display options. I can set up the text, I can set up the background, I can set up the border as well. So let's say if I want to go to the text here and I want to show them as red. I will click on OK and now if we see here that all the values which are below that threshold they are in red now. now if I want to remove that from this column, I will go here and I can deselect this demo rule. So I can apply that rule to the column and I can deselect that rule if I want to remove that rule from the column. And I can use this manage rules option to duplicate this, to edit this or to remove this. So this way we can create the conditional formattings in Webby to highlight some specific values based on the requirement. So in this tutorial we have seen how we can create the conditional rules in Webby. Thank you.